Hello everyone, welcome to US Immigration Updates, an officially verified YouTube channel. In a move that could benefit thousands of immigrants waiting for their green cards, a U.S. President's Advisory Commission has approved the recommendation that more than 230,000 unused green cards for family and employment categories since 1992 be recaptured. In this video, we will discuss the recommended immigration reform approach. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, stay tuned until the end of this video. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button the like this video button, and don't forget to press the bell icon to get new updates instantly and directly to your YouTube. Now let's get into the video and find out what the latest updates are on U.S. immigration. An advisory council to the President of the United States has given its approval to a recommendation that more than 230,000 unused green cards for family and job categories since 1992 should be reclaimed. This is a move that could be of assistance to thousands of immigrants who are still waiting for their green cards. A permanent resident card, more commonly known by its colloquial name, a green card, is a document that is given to immigrants in the United States as proof that the bearer has been granted the privilege of remaining permanently in the country. The Indian-American entrepreneur A.J. Butoria, who is a member of President Biden's Advisory Commission on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders, stated this in his set of recommendations that he submitted before the commission. This includes the recapture of more than 230,000 employment-based green cards that were not used from 1992 until 2022 and the processing of a portion of these every fiscal year, in addition to the annual limit of 140,000 for this category. Recapture unused green cards and prevent future green card waste aims to address bureaucratic delays in the green card application process and provide relief to individuals waiting in backlogs, he said. The President's Advisory Commission on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders has voted to endorse the request that all unused green cards for family and work categories since 1992 be recovered. This commission advises the President on issues relating to Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders. Congress has delegated authority to the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, to allocate a predetermined quantity of family-based and employment-based immigrant visas on an annual basis. However, because of delays caused by bureaucratic procedures, the number of accessible green cards has been underutilized, which has led to a buildup of unused green cards over the years, he noted. In order to address this issue, Butoria offered two primary alternatives. To begin, the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of State ought to retrieve any unused green cards for family and job categories that were issued between 1992 and 2025. According to him, this includes the retrieval of over 230,000 employment-based green cards that were not used between the years 1992 and 2022 and the processing of a portion of these every fiscal year in addition to the annual limit of 140,000 for the employment-based category. Second, the Department of State and the Department of Homeland Security should work together to establish a new policy that ensures all of the green cards that are issued each year, up to the annual limit, will continue to be available to immigrants who qualify for them, even if the agencies are unable to finish the necessary documentation during the given fiscal year. According to what he indicated, this policy ought to be imposed retroactively in order to recover unused green cards that were issued before the new policy went into effect. Butoria noted that his recommendation emphasizes the negative impact of underutilized green cards on individuals, families, and the U.S. economy. The unused green cards represent lost opportunities for the country and contribute to worsening backlogs, especially affecting Indian American, Filipino American, and Chinese American families, according to Butoria. Furthermore, the lack of a green card restricts the mobility of temporary workers on H 1B visas and limits their contributions to the U.S. economy. The children of these temporary workers are at risk of aging out of immigration status when they turn 21, he said. He said his recommendation aligns with proposals introduced in the 117th Congress to recapture green cards that were previously unissued by United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, due to administrative errors. By recapturing these unused green cards, billions of dollars could be added to the economy, the backlog for families waiting for green cards could be reduced, and unnecessary bureaucratic limitations on legal immigration could be mitigated, he argued. 
according to the Congressional Research Service, over the past two decades, the number of people on the waiting list for family-sponsored green cards has grown by over 100 percent. As of 2020, there were approximately 4.2 million individuals waiting for family-sponsored green cards, with an average wait time of six years. For employment-based green cards, there were approximately 1.2 million individuals waiting, with an average wait time of six years. But for IT professionals, on average, it's been more than a decade, and many are yet to receive their green card even after 15 years. In his remarks before the commission, Butoria applauded the Biden administration for implementing several recommendations of the commission. In December of the previous year, the panel made recommendations in order to cut major wait times for visa appointment scheduling. The administration has taken action to cut down on wait times and enhance the procedures for scheduling visa appointments. The wait time for visa appointments has been drastically cut down to between two and four weeks, making it significantly easier for individuals to schedule their travel and streamline their immigration procedures. In addition, students who wish to apply for a student visa can do so up to one year before the date on which they are scheduled to enroll in college. This enables students to have more transitional freedom and flexibility, as he explained. According to him, the Commission had also proposed modifying the aging out process for children on the green card applications of their parents in December of last year. And the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, recently changed the child age out calculation policy in order to provide greater clarity and fairness. This policy assesses the age of children in specific immigration cases in order to ensure that eligible children keep their eligibility for immigration benefits and do not age out of the system. These recent immigration updates reflect the direct impact of the Commission's recommendations and the commitment of the Biden administration to help families and create immigration policies that are more inclusive, efficient, and responsive to the needs of our communities, Butoria said. That's all we have for you in this bulletin. I hope you found this video useful. We will post new videos when there are more updates. The U.S. Immigration Update channel provides all necessary visa information and procedures for your U.S. immigration journey. It is important to understand the United States immigration processing steps, visa application requirements, processing times, forms, fees, and more. We will continue to provide all information about U.S. visitor visas such as B-1 and B-2 work visas such as L1A, L1B, and H1B, student visas, green cards, immigrant visas, EB1, EB2, EB3, EB4, and EB5, and family immigrant visas. Thank you for visiting us today, and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe channel for more U.S. immigration update videos.